Hello, hello. I am so excited today because I talk so much about breath and mindfulness. And today, a new friend is joining me, Corrine. She is someone I met months ago in Kentucky. Not a usual place I hang out, but I was invited. And as a generator and human design, I often wait to be invited. And I wasn't sure what I was getting into, but we had the most just really synchronistic weekend of such amazing women. And Corrine was one of them. So Corrine, thank you so much for joining me. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for having me. And I was sitting here chuckling to myself when you're like, and I met her in Kentucky because I was thinking the same thing. It's like such a funny thing. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky of all places. Of all places. And it was such a great weekend. I met so many wonderful women and we got to know each other and the work that we're doing. And Corrine's work is so interesting because we hear so much about breath. We hear so much about mind your breath, be your breath, stay within your breath, use your breath as a tool. So Corrine, your journey is so exciting because it really is about the power of the subconscious and regulating your nervous system and using the breath to do it. So before we jump into all of that, tell us about what it means to be a hypno breath work therapist. Yeah. So hypno breath work is a pretty innovative new modality of breath work. It takes three powerful pieces um, of healing kind of work and puts it all together in one really effective and efficient e experience. So it takes the power of breath, blends it with hypnosis and uses the power of visioning. So all together, when we flood the body with oxygen, we start to shift and change the pH of your blood, which opens the door to your subconscious mind. And once we've done that, then we enter into this hypnotic cueing, which helps to rewire and repattern blocks and things that are going on inside your subconscious mind. And then we move into visioning, which actually starts to fire up new neural pathways. And really what that means is when we're trying to create something new in the world, if we use our mind and you know visualize something, when we go to do it in the 3D waking world, it actually makes it super easy because it's not like we're doing it for the first time. So that sounds delicious and exciting, but it also sounds complicated. So when you say like we blend breath work with hypnosis, like how complicated is this? Oh my gosh, not complicated at all. So if you have ever experienced breath work, it's that three-part breath, which is the conscious and connected breath, which is a very common breath pattern in lots of different breath modalities. And hypnosis is really just meditation with a goal in mind. And it speaks to your subconscious in the language that it likes to be spoken to, which is removing all negative context. When we use negative language, you're your subconscious mind doesn't really receive it. So it's just very intentional, specific cueing with a goal in mind to whether that's to remove a block or to drop into a flow state. And then visioning really is just you kind of having, it's like on a playground, right? In your mind, creating the vision that you want to step into. So it's all very, very simple. It might sound complicated, but um, super simple. So could you give us like a little example? Cause I'm still, I'm like, okay, how do I get this around my head? Cause I'm so visual and just part of it. Could you just give us like a small example of what that might look like? So people can see that it's something they could do or pursue after this. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a 22 minute experience typically. And mm -hmm. you start just by laying down, putting, you know, if I was guiding you, whether it's a recording or whether it's live, you'd pop some headphones in, you'd close your eyes and you'd start with that three part breath, which is a deep breath into your belly. Deep breath into your chest, exhale, let it go. We can do that a couple of times together. Deep breath into your belly, deep breath into your heart, exhale, let it go. So you'd keep breathing just like that. I'd have some fun music going on in the background, some kind of like binaural beats. And then from there, we would just kind of drop into breath for a little bit. And then we would start into that, the cueing, which would be perhaps maybe an intention would be to... Um, I don't know, maybe invite abundance into your life. So I would then cue you to see the word abundance and start to explore what that means to you from like a, like a conceptual standpoint. And as you explore it, then I'd ask you to start to tap into a sensory experience of it. So how does it feel in your body when you feel abundant? Where does it feel? Is there a texture? Is there a color? And typically from there, 
the hypnotic cueing would start to come in to kind of tap into a place where you might feel blocked when it comes to abundance. And that would, then I, my cueing would ask you, is like, wait, when was a specific time or memory that you might have felt blocked in this context, in this scenario? And we allow the subconscious to start to reveal that. And then we actually start to paint a picture of what abundance looks like. What is the most abundant version of yourself look like? What are you wearing? How does that feel in your body? Who are you talking to? What does your environment look like? And you allow your mind really to start to paint that picture for, for you. And it will, especially as you're flooding the body with oxygen, the visuals start to be really crisp and, and vivid. And then usually the last cue that I bring into a, a hypnobreath work experience is what is your next action step to step into a place of abundance. And I think that's the real differentiator between the power of hypno breath work and other kinds of breath work, because there is this actionable step that we ask your subconscious to give you. And then outside of the session, really the work is to step into that action step when you're in the energy of it. Mm, I love that. And it makes it like so real. Now I know what you're talking about. This is super. So, you know, I don't think most people just get up one day and say, okay, I need to find a hypno breath therapist. So how do people find you? Uh, so I teach a lot live. Um, I also blend it with coaching. So mm -hmm. it's typically, I mean, I, a lot of, I guess my my title is a hypnotherapist really is what I, when I go by. And so people are, are searching for hypnotherapy and I usually introduce this because it's an expedited way to experience hypnotherapy. Once you add in flooding the body with oxygen, it takes in a, something that might've taken several weeks to get to a, a result or a action step. And we end up there on the other side of a 22 minute session together. Mm, I love that. I love that. And you talk a lot about how this type of breath work can actually regulate the nervous system. Oh, yes. Right. Because so many of us, I think, are stuck in a state of sympathetic. That's the more common state that we are, are stuck in. And when we start to breathe like this, we actually start to discharge some of the energy that we need to release from the body in order to bring ourselves back into a more regulated state. And I say this a, a lot when I'm talking about nervous system regulation, nervous system regulation is not a one and done. It's, it's a way of living, a way of being, it's a lifestyle. It's something that we have, we get to approach on a daily basis to bring ourselves back to a center point. Mm, that makes a lot of sense because it's easy to have your nervous system in check when you're hanging out with you because you're so Zen. But then we go out in the real world and we get that email or that family member calls us or our boss calls us at eight o'clock at night. And then all that Zen nervous system bliss goes out the door because it's the triggers that then bring us into an elevated state. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the thing is, we wouldn't really want to stay in that kind of Zen place all of the time because a little bit of pressure is what propels us forward. What is really important is that we have the capacity to oscillate between. And so practicing breath work actually expands our capacity and allows you to move up and down the highway of nervous system regulation with ease, which is really what we want to do is to build resilience. Mm, and how, what do you think when you think of resilience, you know, cause resilience, I think is a word that people hear, but I don't know if everybody really understands it. Yeah, you know, at first before I I actually conceptually understood it, I thought resilience was like being the brick wall, right? Letting everything bounce off of you. And that brick walls eventually will break down. And they're actually not their capacity doesn't expand, right? It's just this solid mass. But resilience is really much more like being a rubber band, being able to stretch all the way out and then come right back in over and over and over again. Mm. I love that because it doesn't, it gives us permission not to be, not to be a punching pad for a lot of people, not to take on so much from other people, but allows us to like stretch in areas we need to, but then allows us that space to regroup, take care of ourselves and really find sort of a center point, which I think a lot of us, including me at times is missing a center point. Yeah, we have to be able to come back to that. It's a fluidity, right? It's that ability to expand and contract as, as needed. And when you think about the breath and the breath work that you do with your clients, I mean, how do you think it unlocks the subconscious? 
Well, so when we breathe like that rhythmically, what actually happens is the brain waves start to change and you hover between that theta and alpha state. And actually we get these spikes of gamma brain waves. But when we are opening the door to the subconscious mind is really when we're in a theta state. That was when you know, when we're kids, we are in a theta state from zero to seven just constantly. And that's when your subconscious is formed. And to be able to really open the door and soften and be able to really tap into that neuroplasticity of the brain is when we enter into those brainwave states, which we as adults enter into them naturally first thing in the morning and then late in the evening as we're falling asleep. But you can actually kind of like hack those brainwaves, if you will, if in the middle of the day, that's when you have time to experience a breathwork session when we breathe in that fashion and that manner. And for a certain period of time, it actually puts your brainwaves back into that state. Mm, I love this. And I know you do a lot of courses online for people that might not be in the DC area. And I know you're in New York today. So how can people get a taste of the work that you're doing to see if they can resonate with it and align with it and work with you as a coach? Oh, well, you know, I have something very special. I'd love to share it with your, with your community. I actually have a recorded flow state breath work, which is a really great entry point because we're not really getting into the deep emotions when we're trying to get into flow state. This is kind of just like that light fun kind of experience. So I'd love to share that with yes. your audience. I can give you a link, but I also teach live community sessions usually once a month, which are open for anyone to join if they, they want. And I can share a link with, with you for that too. That would be great. If you could post it in the group, then people can reach out to you directly, which would be great. We have a couple hundred members now, and I think they're always looking for new ways to connect, but also connect with themselves. Yes. And breathwork is definitely a great avenue to find that, that internal connection with yourself. Mm, well, I'll definitely post your links with the video, but if you want to go into Get Together We Seek, there's an inspirational videos tab on the side. You can post your breath work because I know I'll do it. And then there's oh my also gosh, dates. There's also a new form called like important dates. So just put the dates you're doing it in there and uh, we'll send it out. I feel like it, there's so many awesome energy practitioners in the community and they're all doing really cool stuff. And I think for us, you know, thinking of your breath as a tool is is so powerful, but a lot of people only do that if they're going to a class or they happen to listen to a meditation. But I don't think, including myself, know how to use the breath as an ongoing tool by myself. And I think scheduling time with practitioners like you to learn that is so important because we are often stuck in mindsets or unconscious Mm, energies that we do not know how to decouple. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of that autopilot situation. I also think that when it comes to breath work or meditation, it's, it's really nice to just have someone else telling you what to do. Kind of like going to a workout class, right? It's, it's just always nicer to be able to sit back and allow yourself to receive. Mm, yes, yes. And I feel like going to a class like this with you gives us permission to have that time out. You don't have to take notes. You can just come and be and learn and experience. Yes, absolutely. Full, mm -hmm. full invitation to receive all the goodness. <laughs> I love that. And even though we've met before and we've talked and you've sent invitations, I don't think I fully understood the work that you're doing. And that's why I love these interviews because you really get to the heart of the work that your friends are doing and so many awesome energy practitioners. So you've done such great work and you know, what, what is next for you? Because you've been doing this for a while and I just feel like you've really harnessed such a great tool and you have such a beautiful business. So what's on the horizon for Corrine? Oh, well, you know, I have a the immediate horizon is, you know, planning some summer, summer fun and just some community type workshops and that sort of thing. And I also have a, like a group course that will be coming out probably in early, early June, a four month experience really focused on nervous system regulation and making it part of your actual lifestyle. Mm, I love that. I love that. Well, I can't wait to see your posts inside the community. I'm going to do them. And I'm definitely going to join you. And hopefully someday soon, you can join me uh, at Together We Seek on Lake Erie. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely.
I would love to have you out there. And I feel like the power of breath is, is such an untapped tool that all of us have with us. And having someone like yourself teach us how to use our breath in a way that can unleash that energy and align us to thought patterns and ultimately actions that we want to lean into anyways is so powerful. Oh my gosh, I would be my honor. I would love that. Mm, well, good. Well, good. Well, thank you so much. Be sure we're going to be sure to include your links. So be sure to get those to me. And thank you for sharing your work with us. Uh, thank you so much for having me and allowing me to, to be a part of your community. So appreciate you. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm.